Hi, I'm Tom Anderson, and you're Inside Acapella. Hey guys, it's Rachel C. with Inside Acapella. Coming up on September 21st, the vocal company is holding their inaugural Acapella Ed program at the University of Richmond. Hosted by the Richmond Octaves, this event features one simple idea. Everyone gets everything. Yes, that's right. Workshops, master classes, and performances are all free and all yours. Register and learn more about TVC's Acapella Ed program at acapellaed.com. Auditions are happening all over the country for acapella groups this month. To help you prepare for your audition, we reached out to our Twitter followers for some helpful tips. At Steve the Beats tweets, Find a special talent your voice has. Excessive low notes, extreme vocal sass, incredible vocal percussion, and use sparingly. At Zach underscore Merritt tweets, Avoid musical theater audition pieces. Please. I think that's a good rule. At RJ Eckhart tweets, can't go wrong with a little nudity. Well, keep that in mind, Robert, thank you. At The D Purcell tweets, be yourself, but in all seriousness, being yourself is a great way to show them your best. At Lorsky Fink tweets, create your own group. Well, that's one way to avoid stressful auditions. Keep tweeting your tips and we'll keep posting them on YouTube and on our Twitter page at Inside Acapella. This week, we have a special segment with Austin Willisie of the House Jacks on original songwriting. Hi, uh, I'm Austin Willisie. I am a member of the House Jacks. You can find me online at austinwillisie.com and housejacks.com. I am here to talk to you about songwriting in five easy steps. Step one, audience. Step two, chords. Step three, melody. Step four, lyrics. And step five, feel. Uh. The first thing that you should consider is your audience. Who is the intended recipient and or lover of your awesome song? Is it you? Is it your boyfriend, girlfriend, mother, father, sister, dog, cut out uh, of Taylor Swift? Or is it a large audience of people? If the audience is larger than just you or your best friend who you know is going to love whatever you do regardless of how you do it, you have to think about what other people like, what other people listen to, what other people have heard before, and what other people want to hear. But you also have to listen to your own sense of what is right and what is true for you. So think about your audience, who they are, what they listen to, what they want to hear, what you want to say to them, what they don't want to hear, <laughs> and what you don't want to say to them. They're all important considerations. As a songwriter, I'm definitely influenced by things that I don't like as much as things that I do like. Thanks, Austin. We'll see you in later episodes for more original songwriting tips. To end this week's show, we've got a new Grade 8. This week, we've got the Grade 8 Summer Acapella Hits. Thanks for watching Inside Acapella. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow us on all of our social media for more acapella updates. I'm Rachel C., and I'll see you next week on Inside Acapella. Cause I don't wanna fall in love If I ever did that, I think I'd have a heart You something to admire Cause you shine is something like a mirror And I can't help but notice You reflect the inside of my It's got rivers, it's got sights and lakes. Oh, 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 girl, I'm gonna show you when you're mine, oh, mine. I'm my, 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 my treasure.